Hello friends, this video on motion and time part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Motion, Slow and Fast Motion, Distance, Speed, Distance Time Graph and Odometer or Speedometer. So motion, so that, that's what we are going to talk about in this lesson. So what do we mean by motion? Literally, if you uh, ask the literal meaning of motion, it is nothing but movement, moving from one place to another. So that that's like uh, a very uh, in very simple terms. That's how we can define motion. But when it comes to physics, when it comes to science, how do we define motion? We say it is change of position with time. Now. That sounds a little more, uh, you know, scientific. So what does this mean? So let me take an example. So you take the example of the fan. When you switch on the fan, what happens? It makes you feel cool. Why does that happen? Because the blades of the fan are continuously moving. So if you look at this picture right now, what is the position? Like, let's number the blades. So this is blade number one. This is blade number two. This is three. This is four. And this is five. These are the five blades of this fan. Now, when you switch it on, what happens? It starts moving. So just observe the position of blade one when it is at rest. So right now, this is the position. So it is here. But as soon as it starts moving, what happens? The same blade one is actually changing its position with time. So as time is passing by, the position is also changing. So then we say that the blades of the fan are in motion. That is, it is moving. So here we will take the example of a moving car. Now, when the car is at rest, so whether you assume it to be a toy car or you assume it to be a real car. So when the car is at rest, so what happens? It is at a particular position. For example, let us say that right now the car is at rest and this is the position of the car. So let's say this point is A. Okay. So it is at point A on the road and it is not moving. But what happens when it starts moving? Now when this car starts moving, its position changes. So initially it was here and now it is somewhere here. So let us call this as position B. So the position of the car changed from A to B with time because as time is passing by so with every second passing by the position of the car is moving so first it was at a then it was at at certain point of time it was at this point again at certain instant of time it was here again at certain instant of time it was here so as time is passing by the position of the car is also changing so what do we say that the car is in motion so let's look at a couple of other examples. So whenever we talk about motion, a motion is not always something which is related to objects. Even we move. So anything that is moving, anything which is undergoing a change in position with time is said to be in motion. For example, when we play. So while playing, you are running. So obviously you are in motion because your position is changing with time. Your hands are moving, your legs are moving. So obviously you are in motion while running again. So what happens when you run? You move from one place to another. So your position changes with time. So you are in motion. Now let us take this example. When you are sitting on a chair and you are working on your laptop. Now in this case, your body might not be in motion because you are not changing your position from one place to another. But if you concentrate on your fingers, what happens? When you are working on your laptop, your fingers are moving. So the position of your fingers are changing with time. So your fingers are in motion. Think of a bird. So a bird flying from one place to another. So that is nothing but motion. Think of a lady dancing. So when you dance, again, you move your hands, you move your legs, you move your body. So everything is changing. All parts of your body, they are changing position with time. So it, again, you are said to be in motion. Okay, so these were some common examples of motion which we see around us. Now let's talk at a, a little more higher level. So let's talk about the motion of the earth. So the, uh, the entire earth in itself is again in motion. So how the earth is moving? So let's, let's have a look. 
So the, we all know that Earth is a planet, is one of the nine planets and all these nine planets, they move around the sun. So this is the sun in this picture. This is the sun and this is the earth. Now earth, sun is obviously bigger than the earth but here we are showing this picture like the earth is nearer to us so we are able to see it big and the sun is quite far away. Okay, so now this earth, it moves around the sun. So in that case what happens? There is change in position of the earth and with time so the earth is in motion and also the earth rotates around its own axis so that means the earth will rotate like this so that means each point on the earth is also undergoing a change in position with time so let us try to understand this even better so basically movement of the earth around its own axis so this is the this blue line which you see that represents the axis of the earth so movement of the earth around its own axis like this like this so this movement is called rotation and the movement of the earth around the sun that is called revolution so that is it is revolving around the sun so these are the two different terms which are used for these two types of movements uh, in Earth's context. So let's look at this animation. This will help you understand better. So let's say this is the Earth. Okay. And this is the Sun. So here what happens? The Earth moves around its axis as you saw just now. So this type of movement. This is like moving around its axis, that is rotation of the earth. So there also we see that each point on the earth, so a point which was here when it started moving, for example, when it started moving, so that particular point is also changing its position with time. So it is in motion. Again, the same earth at the same time is also moving around the sun. So when it is moving around the sun, obviously its position is changing from one point to another with time. So both rotation and revolution of the earth takes place simultaneously. So like as the earth moves around the sun at the same time it is also rotating around its own axis. So this shows that the earth is also continuously in motion because its position is changing with time. So that is another classic example of motion. You talk about the motion of a spinning top. I am very sure all of you know what is a spinning top and you would have played with it in your childhood or maybe you play with it even now. So just look at this. This is a spinning top. So when you, once you spin it, so it keeps moving on its own. So this is also an example of motion. So you see all these examples, they are all different types of motion. So in some places we see that the object is just moving on a straight path, for example, a moving car. In certain cases, we see that it is moving in a circular path, kind of circular path. For example, the motion of the earth around the sun here in this case, we see that it moves around itself. It is moving around uh, an axis and it keeps moving around itself. You think of a ball which is rolling down the slope. So if you look at this ball, what's happening? It is rolling down the slope. So the position of the ball is changing from one place to another. So that is motion. Even the rolling of the ball when the ball is rolling, so one scenario could be the ball is just moving like this. The other scenario is the ball is rolling like this. So in case of rolling also, each and every point on the ball, it changes its position with time. So that means the ball is in motion. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.